got to meet him in the spring and everything. And yeah, Elliot's been great. You know, I think he's got a real passion for the game, which is very important for me. I think a lot of guys overlook that. Uh, there are a lot of guys, believe it or not, that are playing college football just because they're talented. They may not necessarily really love the game. Or at my position, they've been playing the game for a long time because they're the biggest one around. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they may not love the game of football, but Elliot does. He has a passion for it. He wants to be great. He really wants to have a great senior year. And so he's been uh, like a sponge and really tried to soak up as much knowledge as I can give him in the time that I've been here. Has done a really nice job, um, I think, setting the standard in terms of how hard he works during practice. Uh, he has a real uh, blue-collar mentality about showing up every day and given his best, mm -hmm. I think that's what really makes him a good player. Mm -hmm. um, more than anything else is his desire and his willingness to work. Um, but he's also done a really nice job communicating and, and showing leadership and some of the other things that you'd hope to get out of an experienced center. Mm -hmm. Ethan is kind of tall for a guy playing inside. He's very tall for but, a guy uh, but, uh, I think Elliot, for a center. Elliot said it's because he's got really good hips. He can bend. Uh, he's, he's flexible. Uh, could you talk his, about that? Yeah, his, his flexibility and his work ethic are the only things that really give him an opportunity to do that. Most guys that are that height, you won't find playing inside. But he has tremendous flexibility and unbelievable work ethic. Great intelligence, his intangibles are off the chart, his want to, his passion, his work ethic, toughness. Um, he just has all the, the things in his uh, personality that make you believe he's going to get the most out of his body. Mm. Um, okay, now.